Hey, hello YouTubers. Hope you guys are doing well. Paul Apollonia. It is January 26, 2019. A little frosty here in Raleigh, North Carolina. I want to give you another update on some stuff I've gotten to part out. Yesterday I got an email alert from my Craigslist email alert. I've got an e uh, I have a video on how to set that up in my YouTube channel. Please check that out. Please subscribe if you like what you're seeing. About a dishwasher, this Bosch dishwasher. Let me get out of the, my shadow there. That one right there, that white one. Those parts go for decent money. I drove about 15, 20 minutes one way to get this. And I and as I was in that area, I saw an email alert for that GE dishwasher. Not a whole lot of money and parts on that, but I figured I'd pick it up anyway. I had room in the van. So let me uh, show you what I part out, what I don't part out. These um, utensil holders, probably maybe 15 bucks a piece, plus a little bit of shipping. You're not going to make a whole lot of money on that. Let's go to these racks here. I took these racks out already because when you try and take the door down, the racks come rolling out and it gets to be quite cumbersome when I'm showing you guys stuff. This is the lower rack. This rack alone. Now, I have never seen one with this thing attached to the top of the rack, which might be a shipping issue. Um, this rack, without this top thing, was real easy to ship. Uh, I'd probably make a 60 bucks profit on this rack alone. I, I do about $89.99 with free shipping. If I don't do free shipping, I do probably... Uh, 69 plus at least $20, $22 flat rate shipping. I ship them out FedEx most of the time. And what you want to look for in these is little to no rust on these things at all. Now there's very little rust. I'm trying to, right there's a little bit of rust. So I would take a picture of that close up and show them there's a little bit of rust. But this is in pretty darn good shape. Right there is a little bit of rust. Again, that's about 50, 60 bucks profit in your pocket. The upper rack, uh, I, I don't, uh, these are a little bit less than the lower rack, but on Bosch ones, they probably still go for about the same amount. I probably make about 50 bucks on this. This one is in really decent shape. Some of these things are a little bent. Um, sometimes I leave them bent, sometimes I try and straighten them out. It all depends. And this has got the little racks to go down for the glasses. I mean, these things are built to last. And again, I look it over, make sure there's no rust. If there's any rust off, if there's any heavy rust on it, I don't even sell it. But a little bit of rust, that's a little dirt. This thing seems to work. Um, I've sold a lot of these racks. I just want to show you. That looks good, too. That's not all torn up. This here, the washers look good. And um, I always try and ask, or I, I, I hope that they have some kind of description of what's wrong with it. This Bosch here had a bad pumps. So I don't mess with the pumps. I'm just assuming they're bad. This one is just worn out. I think they said there was a bunch of things. Let me try and open this door without this thing tipping over on us. Uh, what I also do is I take this panel off, which is these screws right here. There's sometimes they're weird screws. I go over to uh, Harbor Freight, whatever Sears, or they're still open. They have that um, that Torx thing. I take this off. You got to take the front cover off, and you can push that out. This whole unit goes for about twenty bucks. I don't really take anything else off. You can mess with these, but on these Bosch ones, these ever these rarely. Oh, you can mess with these track things, but they rarely ever wear out. So I take this front piece off back to the control, and there's a control panel in here that you just sort of have to wiggle out of there. It's all done with, they sort of press it in with the, with the frame, but you just get that out of there. Also, I don't have it out here. I meant to. These are really hard to get stuff out from underneath because they're built so well. Like, for example, this one, that GE weighs almost nothing. I can throw that around. This one probably weighs an additional 20 to 30 pounds. So uh, these are built really, really well. Um, I don't know why anybody would ever really want to get rid of one of these. I would just keep on fixing it. But so that's the Bosch one. Now let me look at the, let me show you. 
hopefully this won't tip over this is an older model gosh this thing's got to be 20 30 years old so let's hopefully this won't tip over yay <laughs> so we got the rack oh see there's some rust there see right there there's some rust right there it doesn't look like it's through it just looks like it's a very surface rust um I don't know what these racks will go for. I'm assuming um, probably 40 bucks for that bottom rack I usually get profit. And the upper rack, uh, good, there's no there's no spinner on it, which makes shipping a lot easier. Looks like it's in really good shape. These also fit many, 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 many models, brands. I mean, probably those racks fit probably 20 different brands. You have to Google what I do is, oh, let me show you where the um, the model number and stuff is. I've showed this before in another video. It's usually inside the door somewhere. Oh, there it is on the GE one. Right there, it's usually on the inside of the door. And on the Bosch ones, I know exactly where that's at. That's always right there on the inside of the door. What I do is I Google that with the manufacturer's name, get a parts list, look up the parts, use the part number, because they fit many, many things. So on this one, I would probably just take the racks out, to be honest with you. I'd have to look it up and see what else sells, but I'm sure it's pretty much worn out. Um, what also sells is, and I don't have it with me, it's in the garage or my inventory, is the wiring harness. All the wires, they connect basically, like a car wiring harness. They all connect. And it takes probably about 10 minutes to get the wiring harness out because you're taking other parts out anyway. So it's just something you're doing on the way. And I can get all depends on these older washer dry. Bleh, excuse me, dishwashers. I can probably get about 15, 20 bucks for the wiring harness. And these Bosch's, they go for a lot, but they're a pain in the neck to get off because it's so well built. I don't even know how to get this thing apart. Uh, there's no screws or anything to get the sides off there. I'd have to figure that out. But I really would like to take some time and figure that out this weekend. That 40 50 bucks for the wiring harness. I've sold those all over the world. So um, I hope this really helped you guys out on making money, on parting out things. I mean, there's lots of money in parts. Um, you just got to keep your eye out on them, for them. Very easy. You're just taking things apart. You're not putting anything back together again. Keep your inventory organized so when you sell it, you can get at it quickly. Uh, just a little side note, I've even seen people get pay, pay for these hoses, these used hoses. I would never sell a used hose, but people do. Also, this insulation goes for about $15. I, I, I've got two of those in my inventory. I think I listed them once and, and they didn't do anything. I'm going to try and list them again. But so there is, like I said, I could sit here for an hour and just keep on pointing out stuff that will sell. Your best part, your best deal is just to look them up on eBay and see what um, what sells. eBay is a great place to sell used parts. I do it with, with a lot of stuff, not just appliance parts, lawnmowers, small engine, outdoor equipment, stuff like that. All right, guys, I really hope you guys found this helpful. really want to see you become a success and make some extra money, if not full-time income, by doing this. It's very, very possible. Please check out all the links below. I do um, a lot of eBay training, one-on-one, -on -one, small group, large group, <clears throat> through lifelong learning in Wake County at night. Just Google that. I also have a Vimeo eBay class. It's a, more of a starter class, but it's got a lot of great tips for anybody in there. Also run an eBay meetup group in Raleigh. Meet second Thursday of the month at 7 p.m. at the Panera. Just look all that stuff up on on underneath there all right thank you so much i hope you guys have a great day and uh, stay warm